trail is one of the important ingredients in the six days. He must have the right cycle, the skill, the stamina, and the speed. For if he doesn't get down the trail, how is he going to get to the check? The checks serve many purposes. The most important is getting through it on time. From the time the rider leaves the start every morning, he is on a time schedule. This varies every day from a 23 to a 28 mile per hour average. That means the rider must get to a check on time. If he doesn't, he'll lose one mark for every minute late over his scheduled time. To show the importance of a check in getting there on time, if the rider loses only one mark the entire six days, and there are up to 35 time checks during the entire event, he'll lose his gold medal. If the rider loses over 20 marks, then he'll lose his silver medal. Every rider is issued a route card every day. On this card is marked the check and the time he should go through it. The rider must go through on his proper minute. If he goes through the check early, he's penalized bonus points and his schedule is moved up so he gains no advantage. But checks are also used to gas and service the cycles. Here the crews for the pits become important. They must get him in, gassed and serviced and to the time clock at the right minute. Also, the check allows the rider time to service his machine, provided he gets there before he's due out. This calls for oiling and tightening chains and constantly looking for broken parts, loose bolts, and numerous other things that can mean disaster if not attended to. Checks are also used to change worn tires for new ones. Let's watch one of the U.S. riders, Dave Ames, change a tire. When he's really in a hurry, he can do it in about four minutes. A rider is the only one permitted to work on his machine. allowed to do is fill his gas tank. That is why a six-day rider must not only be a rider, but a top mechanic, able to fix and diagnose any problems that may arise with his cycle. The most important check every day is the night control. Here all the crews and spectators gather at the evening hour to see the riders return. Tension is always high to see if your rider is going to make it in. You never know if you only saw him early in the morning. It's also important to the rider as he wants to arrive early to fuel up and give his machine one final going over before putting it to bed in the paddock. So he's all ready to start the next morning. cycle in the best condition for the special tests. This is the ultimate six-day test. The one that separates all the riders who have so far made all the checks on time and haven't lost any marks. This is what is referred to as the bonus points, or in other words, the top dogs, the fastest and most skilled riders. On Tuesday, the rain is pouring down, and the riders face the rain, fog, and cold. Let's go to the acceleration test and see what they must do. The acceleration test is set up on a paved country road that's been closed to traffic. The length of the acceleration test is about one-eighth mile. Each rider goes off one at a time and is electronically timed. The fastest time is what they're shooting for in their class. There's only one trick to the acceleration test. About 
200 feet from the start, there stands a pair of microphones attached to a sensitive sound meter. In accelerating through the sound equipment, their noise must not exceed 82 decibels, or they get penalized by adding on disastrous bonus points. In bonus points, the lower the total, the better your score. Many riders, including many of the U.S. trophy team riders, will be penalized on the sound test. Let's watch some of the riders on a better day run the traps. country terrain test, the ultimate special test. Riders' skill, above all, pays off here. Every day, the riders will come to a place in the course that will run from three to eight miles in length. Here, at a hill, thousands of spectators gather to watch the beginning of one of the terrain tests. Each rider is started at a special time and, at the finish of the test, is timed. Here's where the skill, training, and practice really pay off for the fastest rider gets the bonus.